thanks for joining us on the weekend edition of National Focus. I'm Colette Ambo. Coming up, seven contracts have been signed for the next phase of the Rosalie Link Road, the Turkish government gives for agriculture enhancement in Dominica, and we'll bring you more information on the location of your polling stations. Stay tuned for details of these and other stories after this. If you can believe this... Come by my house and let me show you some movies. Why can't you believe this? Some mothers don't believe their own children when they say they've been sexually abused and they don't report it. Remember, if anyone asks to see or touch their private parts, touches them inappropriately, shows them or forces them to touch one's private parts, has sex with them, shows them pornographic material, or deliberately lets them hear or see the act of sex, then it is sexual abuse. Believe your child and report the sexual abuse. For more information about child abuse, contact these agencies. This message brought to you by UNICEF and this station. Thanks for staying with us. Seven contracts were signed this morning in Petit Soufrière, marking the commencement of a phase of five of the promised Petit Soufrière Rosalie Link Road. This also means that seven contractors from the area will be steadily employed and in turn stimulate employment for even more in the coming months. This also means that more farmland will become accessible to producers. The Petit Soufrière Rosalie Link Road was officially commissioned in November 2009 and so far more than $10 million have been invested in the project. The contract signing brings that figure to more than $12 million. That investment is a priority to not only residents of the area, but Dominica's Honorable Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Roosevelt Skerritt. I came here to see the road myself, to walk the road with the engineers, from Rosalie to Pilit uh, to see what has to be done and the potential benefit of that road to the people of this part of Dominica, but also the whole of Dominica. There are people who come here and the criticism is that the road is not finished. But the point is, the road has started. It has started. And as the old saying goes, Rome was not built in a day, but Rome was built anyway. Kendall Johnson is permanent secretary in the Ministry of Public Works. This current phase is primarily for the drainage and the construction of road pavement to be followed by more extensive rock blasting. Seven contractors will participate in the works with one subcontractor, that is Mr. Asquith Barnes, who will be engaged for the supply and placement of road base. And if you would just allow me to name the contractors who will be doing this phase, uh, Mr. Michel Benjamin, Mr. Paul John Hope, Mr. Desmond James, Mr. Franklin Lawrence, Mr. Herod Constance, Mr. Dominic Durant, and Mr. Patmore Schillingford. The Honorable Parliamentary Representative Johnson Drago is simply pleased that yet another promise of the Labour Party government is being fulfilled. We promise the people of Pidisufia in particular that at a particular time in the project, the local contractors would be factored in and that um, contracts will be given to them to execute the phases for the drainage, the crossings of culverts, box culvert bridge where applicable, but that the 90% of all concrete work, works would have been given to local contractors. The project is a gift funded by the government of Venezuela through Petro Caribe. Reginald Austri is the honorable minister responsible for Petro Caribe. Several governments have told you that while they kept mentioning the road, but it was going to be impossible uh, to build a Pidetsufe road because of this famous stone they call Washmark. And even when the government decided, this government decided to undertake that road, I remember during the last campaign that the opposition members were telling you that it's a gimmick. That road cannot be studied, it cannot be built because it's a difficult road. And it is a difficult road. But today is a clear demonstration that while it's difficult, this government in its usual fashion 
has agreed to take up the challenge and to ensure the completion of that very important uh, PD Sufra Link Road. Henry Blanco Yanez is General Manager of Petro Caribe Dominica. He said to the organization, this project is more than just a road. Petro Caribe has a uh, high agreement between our countries. Uh, we are um, here to work together in order to have this road finished. What I mean is the, um, the work that is in the shoulders of these seven contractors is more than one road. Is the communication between our people, with the people from all these constituency, all these villages, all these communities, and is development for these people, for the people of, of Dominica in general terms. Um, a road is more than uh, just a path. It's development for all the country. And with this um, opportunity, being here to work together, we are going to strengthen our relationship and be sure that we are going to get our people of Dominica um, in a higher level of a standard of living. The contractors who have already received their checks to begin work have been encouraged to be diligent working, not as for government, but themselves. At an anti-drug rally on Wednesday, the young men of the Caleb John Laura Primary School were cautioned about the repercussions of drug-related crimes. Sergeant John Rose Charles, who is stationed at St. Joseph, cautioned that juveniles can be charged with crimes. Sergeant Charles informed the students of the penalty of obstruction of justice. One of those crimes, some people believe um, when I have marijuana or cocaine or drug and I see the police and a lot of us here, I can just tell this man, boy, look, police coming and he will run away. Or do. The law say this is a crime. You who tells the person you will be charged for obstructing the police for obstruction and even though the police doesn't get the drug you will be charged for obstruction and the person who runs away or throw it he too will be charged for obstruction when the, even when the police does not get the drug all right so this is how serious it is the police don't have to get the drug at all he will not charge you for possession but he'll charge you for obstruction and those offenses carry the same penalty as if the police had found you with the drug. This is how serious, this is how serious the drug offenses are. The sergeants advise the students to report anyone who may be asking them to transport the drugs. Anybody who would offer you drug or ask you to transport drug for them, come to the police. Let the police know that because it is a crime, it's an offense. And you as citizens have a right to report a crime to the police. Do not allow yourselves, do not allow yourselves to fall prey to the people who make millions of dollars. All right? report those offenses to the police. The executive director of the University of the West Indies Consulting Inc., Dr. Keith Nurse, says the World Creole Music Festival is a bonus to Dominica's economy. Dr. Nurse has conducted previous strategic management research on the festival. He was in Dominica to present on the structure, organization and performance of the World Creole Music Festival as compared to other festivals within the region. He says the festival is part of the creative industries, and in the 21st century, creative industries are driving the economies of countries all over the world. He gave Trinidad as an example. We found that the carnival was driving economic activity in at least four key spheres. First of all, in terms of tourism. So Trinidad Big Carnival attracts close to 50,000 visitors in the space of two to three weeks. And so if you look at it, the tourism graphs for Trinidad and Tobago, you see this huge spike February, March, every year. It's all Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, by and large. And people are coming from multiple destinations. 
including from the diaspora. He proposed suggestions for the success of regional festivals. In Trinidad and Tobago, a 700% return. So the government would put in several million dollars um, and the return from visitor expenditures would be a 700% return. That's just the visitor expenditures. We're not measuring the impact on the auto rental sector. We're not measuring necessarily the impact that it has on a whole range of other sectors. And we use visitors, the visitor surveys and visitor expenditures because that's a pretty discreet group. Um, and it brings foreign exchange, so it's a foreign exchange impact. Next is St. Lucia Jazz at a 900% return. Barbados crop over at 2.4%, meaning 240% return. Then spice mass was over 1,000% return. And for the World Creole Music Festival, the result was a 900% return. The government of Turkey has presented a gift of 50 desktop computers to the Ministry of Agriculture in Dominica through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. At a press conference on Friday, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Harold Geist, said the gift is a welcome addition to the division as it continues to make advancements in the use of ICT. We are living in an age of technology and uh, it, IT, ICT is, 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 is everything. And um, we have an opportunity with, you, with this, this equipment that we have now received to enhance the performance of, of, the, of the agriculture sector, to improve the flow of information, to be able to more speedily uh, do analysis for, for, for soil, for crop production, for rainfall, for all of the various factors of production within the agricultural sector. He says representatives from the government of Turkey met with the Ministry of Agriculture officials in May 2014 and were eager to bring immediate assistance to Dominica. Ricky Brumant, Director of Agriculture, says this new addition will enhance the division's capacity. What these, these computers will do, it will create a sense of uniformity across the board. Um, some of the issues that we have had is you've had systems that are from a varied um, makers or manufacturers and um, the servicing and, 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 and the parts procurement sometimes leads to, 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 to much issues and, and, and it's a challenging situation sometimes. So this sense of uniformity is going to help us better platform um, all information data collection again and management across the board. The 50 computers will be distributed across seven agricultural regions. This includes the Farmer Services Center, the Agricultural Library, the Agricultural Information Communications and Technology Unit, the Livestock Development Unit, the Citrus Certification Project, and the Produce Chemist Lab. The Director of Agriculture added this gift would not be possible were it not for government's ability to establish a meaningful bilateral relationships. This would not have been possible if the, if the government of Dominica did not allow for this, for this um, mutual action and cooperation. So the, 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 through foreign affairs, the ground was set by the government that we are able to, to, to get the support from, from the people of Turkey and the government of Turkey. He also revealed the Ministry of Agriculture will continue discussions with the Turkish government to identify other areas for development in the agriculture division. These areas include small farm implements, farm irrigation, and extension training. The 50 computers are at an estimated cost of 35,000 U.S. dollars. In about 11 days, Dominicans will go to the polls to elect men and women to serve the nation for the next five years. Every citizen of the Commonwealth of Dominica, 18 years and over, should exercise their right to vote. GIS is bringing you information on where to vote in all 21 constituencies. Last time, we gave you information on where to vote in the Casabrus, Cottage, and Qualiho constituencies. We continue with these next three constituencies. The Grand Bay constituency. This constituency comprises Bordeaux, Grand Bay, and Montine. Registered voters in Grand Bay North, 
with the last names A to C, will cast their ballots at the Grand Bay Village Council Office, those with the last names D to Z, the Grand Bay Primary School. Residents of Grand Bay South, whose last names begin with A, will also vote at the Grand Bay Primary School. Those in Grand Bay South with last names beginning B will vote at the St. Jerome's Ministry. C to H will cast their ballots at the House of Johnson Barron. Still in Grand Bay South, the persons with last names beginning I to L will vote at the House of Rene Anselm, and those with last names beginning M to Z will vote at the Grand Bay Youth Center. Registered voters in Tetmon will vote at the Tetmon Primary School. We will now look at the Lapland constituency. The Lapland constituency comprises Boetica, Delis, and Lapland. Persons in Lapland with the last names A to R will cast their votes at the Jones Bopia Primary School, and those with last names S to Z will vote at the House of Kent Edwards. In Laronde, the House of Rose Coffee will be used, and in Boetica, the Boetica Primary School. Persons in Victoria will vote at a Black Star in La Roche, and persons from La Roche will cast their ballots at the Village Council Office in Carib. Those in Dalis will vote at the house of Anna Didier, and those in Oguri will vote at the house of Ferdanda Girodel. The final constituency for this evening is the Maho constituency. The constituency comprises Canefield, Campbell, Massac, Maho, Roger, Springfield, and Warner. Registered voters living in Massac will vote at the Massac Catholic Center. In Maho, persons with the last names beginning A to D will vote at the Maho Fisheries Cooperative Office. Those with last names E to I will vote at the Maho Post Office located at the Maho Market, while those with the last names J to Z will vote at the Christian Children's Fund CCF Office. Persons in Maho North will vote at the Maho Primary School. In Jimit, the Office of Disaster Management will be used, and in Taru, the House of Albert Hillier. Those in Campbell will vote at the Campbell Primary School and in Warner, the Warner Primary School. Voters in Canefield with last names A to F will cast their votes at the Canefield Community Center and G to J, the Canefield Preschool, while those with last names beginning K to Z will vote at the Old Meal Cultural Center. Look out for where to vote in the Marigots, Monjon, Rivier Siric, and Pebush constituencies in Monday's newscast. That's the English news. Macpherson St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à cette nouvelle en Creole. Non moins, c'est Macpherson St. Louis. Premièrement, ministre agricole Dominic Tabicat du ordinateur au gouvernement turc. En conférence média pour place jeudi, hein, où la se ordinateur la présente. Permanent secrétaire en ministre agriculte Harold Gist accepte ce ordinateur là à ce compte ministre agriculte. Nous avons offert un cadeau au gouvernement turc, et le monde turc, pour un cadeau, il y a 50 computers. Et 50 computers, ça, c'est pour servir pour travailler en agriculture. Et bien, ça a aidé nous pour avancer, travailler nous, pour faire des plus à l'aise, pour faire des travail plus vite, pour, pour nous, ça, un, pour ces officiers qui ont fait travail agricole, pour ça, c'est computer ça là, pour ça, mettre, pour que ça, data, donné, en de computer là, et bien, là, là ça fait. Pour qu'on fasse le travail plus vite, pour qu'on ait l'information plus vite, pour qu'on communique avec les agricultural stations, vous comprenez, qui Portsmouth, qui Marigold, qui La Plaine. Comme ça, ces officiers-là, ça, ils ont été plus à l'aise pour faire la communication. M. Gris fait par Wall qui a été bien important. Et puis, il y a que servi ces computers-là pour avancer l'agriculture en Dominique. L'agriculture en Dominique, après ça, pas reste derrière. Comme ça, nous avons avancé, nous avons allé devant. Avec euh, ces computers-là, nous avons essayé que ces officiers-là qui ont servi les computers, ils ont été occupés, ils ont été croisés, ils ont été servis bien. Et bien, effectivement, 
pour nous développer l'agriculture, pour développer nos mines, pour développer nos mines. En notre nouvelle, trois équipes en région là, et puis internationale qui ont observé l'élection générale en Dominique à Sili 8 décembre l'année cela. Équipe Hot Secretariat Commonwealth, CARICOM et puis OES qui en Dominique pour le 8 décembre pour observer l'élection là. Premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skirt et que ces organisations là, mercredi 19 novembre l'année 2014, qui ont invité pour observer l'élection là en l'intérêt transparency et puis good governance, ça c'est pour faire assurer que l'élection là tient et puis manière démocratique et puis doit. Équipe Commonwealth, là, ni chef, M. Jean-Pierre Kingsley, ancien chef officier élection Canada, pendant CARICOM et puis OES, mané pour plus de temps, mettez équipe à eux ensemble. C'est équipe Mission Salah qui est en contact et puis Electoral Commission. En d'autres nouvelles, pour des agriculteurs bien formidables, ils peuvent goûter bien et puis bien acceptable à ce la place nationale et puis en région là. Parole celle-là, sorti de l'officier quarantine Ryan Ansem. Si l'on m'a Ansem, programme ministre agriculteur qui a mis en place, c'est pour bon production agriculteur. Antique, Baba, il y avait cinq kits. Il y a un fils Dominique. Nous sommes pour, 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 pour mettre le programme en place pour nous garder comment nous allons continuer à basser le monde la fig. Il y avait un nous même local où ça nous aime fig mio. So nous pour travailler pour nous garder comment nous ka contrôler black cigatoka, comment nous ka faire production nous um, avancer. Nous ne pour nous au cas que anglais compétitif, nous pour pour faire tous ces programmes là travailler bas nous parce que industrie fig important bas moun qui 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 un village qui un village um, rural um, c'est mon là qui est en rural um, areas là. So nous nous pour faire comme ministre agriculteur, nous pour travailler avec toutes ces majors de gros là, DAPEX, Fair Trade, Dexia, CADI, IKFAO, avec BAM, European Union. Et puis finalement, Conseil Nef Boutica, ça c'est Village Conseil Nef Boutica, qui a fait pour me délivrer à ces yons de facilité et puis avancement communauté là, bagaille qui est bien nécessaire. Parole ça la sorte de pour mieux chairman femme comme ça là, Madame Angelina Daniel. Daniel fait parole ça là pendant il est puis sept d'autres conseillers c'est monté point l'office semaine ça là. Daniel dit facilité recréation et puis chemin à ses plans pour comme ça pour bâtir et aussi bas commitment travail pour jeunesse communauté ça là où là il y a aucune facilité sport et puis recréation comme cela qui est aussi engagé en plaisir d'autres bagages développement pour la communauté Bouitika. Mais mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous voir la Creole pour à présent. Non moins, c'est Mac Fusses et Nous. Qu'est-ce que vous tout le monde? Bon week-end. Au revoir. Coming up, another tip for the Christmas season. Dominica is blessed with an abundance of water. But getting into your home is an expensive venture. You have a responsibility to conserve water, to use it wisely. Remember the old adage, you never miss the water till the well runs dry. Think water, think life. Many people look forward to the sweet taste of sorrel juice during the Christmas season. Here are a few tips for when you come across this fruit this season. Choose a fresh looking sorrel with a good color and a clean fresh scent. Avoid any brown spots or wilted stalks or leaves. Sorrel is best used fresh after picking or purchasing. If storing, store in a plastic bag unwashed in the crisp section of the refrigerator for up to three days. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica, and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Colette Ambo. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.